What is up everyone? In this video, we're going to cover what we need to farm every day and what rank we need to be to farm for artifacts. So you have to do something every day. You have to always farm, right? So farm for what, right? There's no chest, there's no quests, but still you have to farm. Even if you're FTP, you got to farm. Even if you're real, you have to farm. For me, I was trying to ascend my heroes to level 70 right now, but I had to farm again. So it will be really nice for you to collect these materials before you do that. You need a lot of them because you need them to ascend your heroes. You need them for leveling up your talents and also you need them for upgrading your weapons. So if you press F1 or if you click on this book on the top right, go to the bosses tab, look for the monsters that doesn't require raisins. So these two require raisins. This one gives you hero exp tome. This one gives you mora. If you click on this, this mage gives you certain materials. Lieutenant's insignia. And they also have a chance to drop four star artifacts at my level. Cryo abyss mage gives you Leyline Sprout, Leyline Leaves, Ruin Guards gives you Chaos Device, Chaos Circuit, Chaos Core, and also these 4-star artifacts. So click on everything to check what you need to farm, and I recommend you to farm until it says respawn. This process will take you about 1 hour or 2 hours, so that's a lot of things to do. And also there's one thing you need to check every day for the artifact folders, so if you teleport to this area in between Juyun Karst and Wang Shu In. You have to come to this place. And there is a place like this. This is where you can get artifact folders. So investigate. These reset every day. And you can use them to upgrade your artifacts. It's really nice. Don't forget about this. And then you know in my how to level up guide videos and what to check in that video i kind of mentioned about this website right this is actually really nice and thank you so much for this community map it would be really hard for people to farm without these but basically i just kind of explore the map without this but i was notified by my viewers that they use this to farm for chests and monsters so if you look here in the left tab it says farming root and if you click on artifacts they show you the arrows and it also you can click on the monsters and that's where you need to go. Yeah? So do this daily if you have a lot of time. I honestly don't get why people are complaining about how they don't have any reasons to, you know, enter dungeons. You gotta do these. In terms of farming efficiency, I think it is the best for you to wait until you can farm for the level 35 artifact domains and level 36 domain dungeons for the talent books and for artifacts 35, okay? The efficiency is really different unless you're really struggling to kill those things or if you're trying to progress in the spiral, which really doesn't really make any sense because it doesn't reset, right? Of course, if you farm for artifacts, you will get stronger very quickly, but then you'll be hitting the limit again. That limit can be broken with talent level ups after getting your character to level 50, but you might want to wait on that because learning the combats with the elemental burst, how to come up with a team is more important than getting stronger for maybe five to six levels, right? So with the raisins, you would want to kill those bosses that has a chance to drop five star artifacts. You can't go wrong with five star artifacts, okay? So keep on using your raisins for cryo regis fine, amino hypothesis, electro hypothesis, geo hypothesis, pyro regis fine, and oceanid, okay? I would say that's the best way to farm before you hit level 35, 36, okay? I think I covered most of the things in the game and I really appreciate you watching this video. If you thought this video was helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys later. Adios.